Hey guys, this is Will with Bass and Yak, and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to maximize your Tourney X Premium Angler profile. So what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through a couple of quick things you can add to your profile to really amp it up. Um, you know, you can feature your sponsors, you can feature your YouTube videos, uh, you can highlight your social media channels add links, just generally spruce up your profile and really get your money's worth for that premium angler profile. So I'm going to use a couple of pieces of HTML code to really optimize a profile and get the most out of it. There's a link in the description of this video that will take you to uh, this post on my blog that has all that information in it. You can copy and paste it, um, make your changes. It has instructions on you know, what you need to do, what you don't need to do, and it will really walk you through... Uh, walk you through using it. This video is just to show you kind of where to add it and how it works. So this is my profile. As you can see, I've got some headings that I've created in a couple of spots here. I've got some clickable buttons that will take you to my social media channels that I use, uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, I've got links embedded in my text, and I've got this video here, and I've also got my Instagram feed that pulls straight into my Tourney X profile. Um, a lot of this code will also work in the sponsor section, uh, so just you know, just play around with it and see what works best for you. But to make these edits, you'll actually need to go into your dashboard and go to the uh, Edit Profile option. So here I am in my Edit Profile screen. Scroll down to your Bio section, uh, grab this little icon right here and expand it out so you can see what you're doing. So the first thing I want to show you how to do is add a link your profile and to add that link we're going to use this little code right here this is called an href uh, I'm just going to copy copy this from notepad here I've got it pasted into um, decide where in your text you want to add the link paste that little piece of code and right here in this these quotation marks where I've got this piece of text it says your link here you just want to change that to wherever you want this to go so in this case I'm going to I'm going to link this back to my website so we're going to go http colon slash slash com, and then you can change this text to whatever you want. In this case, I'm just going to say click here. Now, the important thing about all these HTML tags is you want to make sure to close it. So since this says ahref, you want to put this slash a at the end just to close that tag out. Otherwise, everything underneath that tag will become a link. And so when we save this, and I'll, I'll save it just to show you what this looks like here. So this is click here, hit save changes. And when we go and refresh my profile, there you can see that link I added, click here, and that's going to take you straight to my website. Um, we're not going to leave that though because I have several other links in there, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of that piece of code. So let's say you want to add a video. Now to add a video into your Tourney X Angler profile, we're going to use what's called an iframe. And again, you can get this code straight from my blog. The link's in the description, but I'm going to copy and paste this in here. Now the iframe has a couple of uh, parameters that you can change. The first is the URL. Put the URL straight to your video. Uh, here You can see an example down here of... Uh, one of those YouTube videos I've linked, and you can see I'm actually using the embed option on the YouTube video. Now, if you want the easy way to do this, just copy your video ID. That's everything after the V equals question mark, and then there's a kind of a string of text. That's actually your video ID, and you can just paste it at the end of this uh, URL pro this URL for YouTube, which is youtubecom embed your video ID. So once you get your URL in there, uh, there's a couple other parameters that you can change. The first is the width of the iframe. Now, if you set that width to 100%, which is what I've done, it will let the video stretch to whatever width this bio section is. So if it's on a mobile phone, it will be as wide as the screen will allow. Now, I've set the height to 325 pixels. Uh, your mileage may vary. Play around with that number. Uh, somewhere in the 300 to 350 range is going to give you the best option for, you know, giving you a good thumbnail and not making a really squashed video or really tall video on smaller screens. The next thing that you can add in to your, or that you can use to kind of edit your text is uh, what's called a span style. 
And Band Styles basically lets you add bits of inline code to change the font. So what I use this for is just to create a heading. So right here you can see this says Span Style equals font size 150%. What that does is that makes this piece of font, this piece of text here, 50% um, bigger than this piece of text here. So I've got 150% here, 200% here, 200% there. You can do a lot of stuff with span styles. Basically, any inline style you want to add, you can change the font, you can change the color, you can make it bold. There's several things you can do. Now, the thing is here, we don't want your Angular profile to look like MySpace. So I really recommend just using that size to create some heading options and to, uh, you know, highlight certain areas of your profile and kind of break up your profile so you don't just have a wall of text. The last thing I've got in this video and that you'll find on my blog is actually creating these clickable buttons. This is a lot easier than it seems. We're going to use uh, one piece of code that we've already used and then add another. And the other piece of code we're going to use is also the same piece of code you can use to add an image to your profile. So we're going to use that href again. You know, your link goes here. And we're also going to use some alignment options to kind of create those buttons and put them where we want them. In this case, I've aligned them left. You could center them in your profile section here. I think the left align looks pretty good myself. And then inside this href tag, instead of doing text, we're actually going to do an image. And in this case, we're going to use this piece of code that says image source img space src equals, and then quotation mark, put the link to your image here. In this case, I've got some nice little social media icon buttons. Now, you can just use this, this image source to add an image to your profile and you can actually define widths and heights to you know going back to the 100 percent uh, like we used in this video um that's a little more than i want to get into in this video because you've already got some great image options provided by tourney x you've got the hero shot looking pretty cool um standing up in my big rig there doing a little fishing you've also got your personal best fish and then some some of your catches so i don't really feel like that's super necessary but if you want to, a uh, quick Google will turn up some options on how to do that and how you can best implement that in your profile. But a couple of notes that I want to throw out there. The first is when you go to my blog, make sure you change the red text. Don't leave, you know, the your link here, your text here. It'll just look dumb. Also, the quotation marks that you'll see around those sections, those are added on purpose. Those are there to define, you know, what you're adding. So make sure you leave those. Don't delete those when you're in there changing stuff. The other thing is that I found that Tourney X doesn't like for social media things like YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, it doesn't like you to use HTTP colon slash slash whatever. It prefers the secure version of that URL, so that would be HTTPS. Uh, I hope this video is helpful to you. I hope that you have a lot of fun, you know, maximizing your Angular profile, uh, getting the most out of that, and putting some cool stuff out there. If you have a really cool profile, if you use some of the tips in this video or in my blog, I hope you'll leave me a comment. Uh, next month, I'm going to be picking some of the best ones to feature on my website, just kind of showing off the cool things you can do with that Tourney X profile. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Check out my other social media options down there in the right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, connect with me. Use that hashtag. Uh, I'd love to feature your photos on my various social media channels. So thanks for watching, guys.